Hello, today we'll look at the diagnosis of heart failure and one very important lab test that we can do is to measure something called BNP. So brain natriuretic peptide and we will measure the NT pro BNP. This is just another type. It's, it's just cleaved. The molecule is cleaved at another point. Uh, the, this peptide, so this BNP, will be released when the heart ventricles are getting widened because of the pressure that fills the that fills this ventricle so a lot of blood will flow into this ventricle and they, they will dilate the ventricle the muscle will dilate and then they will release this bnp for example uh, the importance here is that in heart failure we will have an increased amount of this nt pro bnp i will just call it bnp but i'm actually referring to nt pro bnp why, why is this different because we can measure both bnp and this nt pro bnp we can measure both but the nt pro bnp is more standardized bnp is good also i'm not saying that it's not good i'm just saying that i prefer to use nt pro mb pro pmb because that is more standardized than than the other one and it's actually uh, very good to exclude and uh, exclude uh, heart failure and it's very good to have have this cutoff values that we can use for example we know that the BNP level increases by age. So when the patient is getting older, the BNP will rise. Okay, and therefore it's important if you if you want to diagnose heart failure, it's very important to look at how old the patient is because of course the BNP is increased by heart failure, but maybe it is only because of his age and not because of the heart failure itself. So we can divide patients into three main groups. We have those that are less than 50 years of age, those that are between 50 and 75, and those that are above 75 years of age. And therefore we will use a cutoff value of NT pro BNP of 450, so more than 450 when the patient is less than uh, 50 years of age. Then we use uh, between 50 and 75 years of age, we will use more than 900. And then when the patient is more than 75, we will use a value of more than 1800. So as you see, it's doubled. So 450, double it, 900, double it, 1800. And the ages were, remember, two values, 50 and 75. This means that below 50 or between 50 and 75 or more than 75. So you just need to remember two values here, 50 and 75. And you need to remember 450 and then please double it. So 450 for less than 50 and then please double it for the other two criteria. Good. And that means that if you get a value of 1800, in a patient who is more than 75 years of age, then we can be not sure, but it's, it, it's an indication that heart failure is uh, the cause of this. Of course, there are many other causes of increased level of NT pro BNP or BNP. And these can be, for example, other, uh, other heart diseases like coronary artery disease, mitral disease, mitral valve diseases, and so on. And there are many other more. Uh, there can also be those that are not related to the heart at all. For example, we have, for example, pulmonary hypertension. So we have a lung disease itself. You can have chronic kidney disease. This is very, very uh, common actually. You can have sepsis, which is an infection, or burns. You have uh, lung diseases like COPD, so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or you can also have chronic sleep apnea, so sleep uh, obstructive sleep apnea. So when you're sleeping, you're sn uh, snoring, for example, or or or, or th these all can lead to high BNP. So therefore, it's very very dangerous to uh, say that this uh, to diagnose a patient with heart failure just 
just by this uh, value. So you need to consider other diseases too that can increase. And we know that, as we said, age increases. We saw that in the uh, cutoff values that we used. We have chronic kidney disease. So when we see, for example, that the GFR, that is a measurement we do when we check the kidney uh, function, then we see that the less kidney function we have, the higher this BMP level is. So therefore you need to correct that too. So the worse the kidney is, the, the, the higher this BMP value is. And therefore it's important that please don't rely on one single measurement of BNP. It's more important to check the path. So the, the, that will guide the treatment. For example, if we get, we get a high value of, let's say 1,800 of BNP, and then we see that with, with therapy, it starts to decrease to 1,600, 1,300, 1,000, and we start to see the pattern. So the pattern is more important than the exact value itself. So for example, if you have kidney disease and you have uh, 1,800, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it is uh, not so severe actually. It's just because of the low kidney function that this BNP is so high. So then please uh, look, look at the trend that, that happens. So for example, if you increase the kidney function or if you, uh, for example, if you increase the kidney function, then what happens? Do this P BNP go down or not? Or if you uh, give the therapy to heart failure, do we, see, do we see a decrease of BNP or not? So these are all uh, very important things to consider that BNP is not only increased by heart failure, but it is very good, very, very good together with the symptoms of heart failure to diagnose heart failure. So it's one of the best, best tools you can have when you want to diagnose heart failure. That's BNP or this NT pro BNP. Good. And uh, we want now to memorize this cutoff values again. Uh, 450. 900, 1,800, 450, which is less than 50 years of age, 50 to 75 years of age has then uh, this uh, 900 and 1,800 for those that are above 75 years of age. And if you know this, then you add to me in, into the mix kidney functions, you check the GFR, we see that the GFR should be more than 60, as we know, 60 milliliter per minute. And it, the normal level is around 120, but then it should be above 60. If you have, for example, then uh, 900 for a 50 to 75 year of age patient, when we decrease the GFR to less than 60, for example, so this is chronic kidney disease, then we can expect that this 900 is not, all, not, not uh, 900 anymore, it's let's say 1,200. And that will be the new cutoff, cut, uh, cutoff value. So a patient who, has, so who is 50 to 75 years of age, has a GFR of less than 60, will have a cutoff value of 1,200. But a 50 to 75 years of age patient who has a normal kidney function, which is more than 60, will have a cutoff of 900 that we mentioned previously. So 450, 900, 1,800. And then you correct it. For example, 1,800 with a GFR of less than 60 would probably have 2,200 instead of BNP or more or even more. So th that's the thing you need to remember. And also obesity. So obese patients will actually have a lower level. So that's an opposite thing. So the, 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 the larger the patient is, the lower the BNP level is. Okay? And once again, let's repeat, which other diseases can cause high BNP? We had sepsis, any type of burn, lung diseases like pulmonary hypertension or COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or any type of sleep apnea. And then we have also other heart diseases, coronary artery disease, mitral valve diseases, and so on. And uh, we have, what do we have more that I forgot? Cancer therapy, for example. Yeah, so cancer therapy. So when, when the patient has cancer and he's getting a cancer therapy, that can also cause it. What more? Anemia and cirrhosis. So there are many things. I have a, a huge list here. So the, 
the list is not so important it's not so important to memorize in itself it's, uh, the most important things you need to remember is kidney disease age that age increases it kidney disease increases any type of severe burns or sep infections increases it, or any type of other heart disease increases and any type of lung disease will in uh, increase it and so on so th th these are the general concepts that you just need to remember good i thank you very much for listening